concert and which has been the best so far? Um, uh, the first time was probably I went to see Tom Jones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was kind of a childhood favorite. Yeah. I liked his voice, and that was in in outside of Stockholm in Sweden. And uh, what was the follow up to the question? Uh, which the best, been the best, so the far? best one. Uh, actually, <laughs> seen out of a concert perspective, mm. I think it's uh, when I saw the hypes back in their hometown, mm. and uh, and uh, actually when I saw Robin in London uh, last summer, I think she really was amazing. Uh, where do you feel home the most, Sweden or England? Uh, it's Sweden. Sweden, because in Sweden I don't feel it's not as I like. It's more com comfortable than, than yeah. exotic or you feel more like exciting. Me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who's your role model and why? Um, that's probably my dad, I think, because he's uh, he's been without any doubts himself his whole life and that has uh, that has made him a really good person mm -hmm. so i think it's him okay. does your bird tattoos mean anything special or is it just lovely birds <laughs> um, it depends on who you ask i told my parents it was them i don't know if that's true <laughs> Or if it was just an excuse for them to see what I or accept what I had done. Mm -hmm. But I, when it comes to tattoos, I'm not really. I'm not so interested in tattoos. Usually people are quite. Today, so many people get tattoos, and so many people get tattoos that are quite. quite much of an art. Mm -hmm. like patterns that go all, all over your arm and, and I'm and I'm I think that's that looks nice at some people but I'm not so interested in it myself. Mm -hmm. So all the tattoos that I've done have been quite impulsive. And they uh, have yeah they've been impulsive and then that led to that when I did the last one on my finger diamond then I, I uh, that was about a year ago or a little bit more and since then I haven't even thought about doing another mm -hmm. one. So I don't think they mean that much, mm -hmm. but they are unique, maybe. Which one hurt the most? Of Definitely the, the birds. It's the whole painful. I do this Swedish tobacco sometimes, snus, yeah. and uh, it's like hard plastic uh, quality, the boxes. And mm -hmm. I, I pressed that one into nothing almost during the session. Cause mm -hmm. The first one, it took one and a half hour, the first one, and that was painful, but all right. And then when he moved over to the left one, it was first around the heart area, yeah. and then up to this bone here. Yeah. And that was, this over up here was uh, yeah, too painful, yeah. actually. Um, which tattoo means the most to you, if you have one? Um, or was it impulsive? It is probably the one that I did first. It's, it's a microphone I have up here. It's really not so well done. It looks quite bad. It's the, the holes here. Yeah. It should be a hole there. That's well. Some of the mistakes like that, and there's nothing there. But and I was I was actually thinking about cover it with something else. But now I think it's the it's the best one. Yeah. This is my drawing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Uh, when was the first time you fell in love with music? Uh, that was probably uh, when I saw when I heard I, when I saw The Lion King. Did you know the Disney movie? Uh, yeah, the movie. Or the yeah, movie? yeah, the movie. The uh, movie. And uh, and when I heard Jackson Five, I think first, and then after that, a lot of. A lot of music in the same kind of energy as Jackson Five came up, and I really okay. got excited. Hi. Hey. Which music makes you happy?
Uh, a lot of music. A lot of music makes me happy. Most of the music that I listen to makes me happy. That's, I think, my favorite. Uh, the favorite kind of emotion that I search for when I listen to music is to feel good. Mm -hmm. A lot of music. Which three songs are the best songs ever made according to you? That will take me three weeks to come up with. So just one then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, oh, uh, uh, well, uh, question. Because whatever I say, I'm gonna regret it if I don't. And then don't say anything. Uh, I could say that I, I have this area of of soul music that I grew up with, mm -hmm. where I love a lot of songs, and that goes all the way from Marvin Gaye to to uh, Wilson Pickett, like all the way from the more rock and roll blues to the really pop soul, so mm -hmm. everything. And I, there are hundreds of songs that I could place on the top three chart. And then, then I love pop music, and I love the 80s and 70s. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think there are some really good stuff out there today as well, but that was three. <laughs> yeah.